I just found a new rapid method to build and coordinate multi-agent teams. This is where I would like to introduce Tribe AI. This is a new open source project that not many people know about because it's fairly new. It's easy to set up and it has many features like the ability to use a drag and drop UI to build multi-agent teams and these are teams that can operate autonomously. These agents have a built-in semantic memory system, they can monitor and track your agent's performance and outputs in real time, and this is by using Langsmith to ensure that they operate efficiently. It has the ability for tool calling, and they can even enable your agents to utilize ex external tools and APIs. Now, there's many other features like RAG and deployment options, which is something that we're going to be taking a look at as you go further into the video. Now in this example, someone had orchestrated a multi-agent team that has a bunch of travel agents and these are basically experts that can create a travel plan for the user. One agent is going to focus on food places, another one is going to focus on attractions, and you can get a gist of what's happening. All the agents are going to be working together to plan out a full-on itinerary to Italy. Now this is a simple example yet it has so much potential to create intricate infrastructures of multi-agent teams that can execute lots of tasks at scale. This is the capability of Tribe AI and it's something that I will be showcasing throughout today's video. So with that thought guys stay tuned as I showcase how you can get started with Tribe AI, showcase its capabilities and how you can actually install it locally. So with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into the video now before we get started i'd like to introduce world of ai solutions this is a really big update that has been launched for my channel and this is where i have compiled a team of software engineers we have machine learning experts ai consultants and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing ai solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where ai solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. So let's get straight into the video. What I'm going to be doing right away is showcasing how you can actually install Tribe AI locally. So first things first, we need to fulfill the prerequisites. This is where I'll leave all the links to whatever I use in today's video and the links in the description below. Make sure you install Python first. This is going to be the programming language that's going to be used for this application. Make sure you have Git installed. We're going to be using this to clone repository onto our desktop. And lastly, make sure you have Docker installed. Once you have these three fulfilled, we can then proceed forward with the installation. First things first, you want to open up Docker, keep it running on the back end. Once you have it opened up, what you're going to do first is clone this repository. So copy this, go into your command prompt. This is by simply opening it up if you're on Windows and you want to basically paste this in. Once you have pasted it in, click enter. It's going to start cloning this repository onto your computer. Once that is done, you need to head over into the tribe directory. And this is by just simply typing in CD tribe and then click enter. Once we are here, we are going to need to start setting up our environment variables. So what you can do is copy the example environment variables into a file, which is the .n file. So what you can do is just simply copy this. You're going to need to update all these different types of variables, which I'll showcase later on in the video. Now what to do next is just simply paste this in and this will basically create the .n file. Once that is done, we can then go into our ID and then set these different variables. So the ID of my choice is VS Code, which is completely for free. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below if you would like to download this. So what I've done is I have opened up VS Code. I clicked on file. I opened up the folder that I just cloned, which was tribe. So I found it from the place that I had cloned it. And what I'm going to be doing next is now clicking on the dot and file that I just created. So this is where you're going to need to set certain things. This is where you can even set your username and password for accessing it on your local host. And they basically specify what you can basically work with. These are all the variables that you can do. You can create your own environment variables to generate different passwords. So set these different variables based off your own preference. In this case, I'm just going to be setting my own uh, API key for OpenAI. You can also set different APIs for different large language models. So this is something that you can keep in mind. So if you would be interested in utilizing the 3.5 Sonnet model from Anthropic, you can actually do so by configuring the backend by incorporating another large language model to this framework. 
Now I forgot to mention that there's various other API keys that you can incorporate such as Langsmith for observability of the large language model. You can incorporate different skills and API keys from SERP API for search engine optimization as well as various things such as a Quadrant. You can also implement Postgres to have a data management. These are different types of tools and APIs that you can incorporate within this framework. Obviously there is another way to incorporate something like Gorilla so that you can utilize various api calls within tribe and this is something that i would recommend that you test out if you know how to code but for the base use case you can just keep this the same and set the api keys for things that you would want to have incorporated within this framework such as a search optimization or like something like a database so you can set these api keys on the back end based off your own preference and once you have done so you can then click right click on this dot env dot example file you can then rename it and then get rid of the dot example and then once you have done so you can then click on file and then click save and there you go once you have clicked save you can close vs code and then you can copy this command over here this is where you need to make sure that you have docker installed and running once you have you can then go over to the tribe folder which we have opened up in our command prompt and then we're going to paste in this docker compose command and we're going to click enter this is going to start building the docker compose container for this project this will take a couple minutes based on your computer because it's going to start installing things that are necessary for this to be functional so once this has finished installing i'll then open it up on my local host and once you have started your docker up you can basically then head over to the front end or the the tribe ui which is not necessarily needed but what you would want to do is head over to the front end you can also access the backend api documentation you have the backend api base url quadrant dashboard as well as the ad miner now in this case click on the local host you're going to need to sign in with your password that you have set in this case i just kept it the same basic one which was just admin at example.com and then the password was just change this now in this case this is our dashboard for tribe ui now this is where you're going to be able to work on all your different orchestrations first things first you can set different users you can then configure these different uh, user settings such as changing the name as well as the password now i'm going to basically change it to dark mode because it's way more appealing to me you can upload your own files you can upload different skills in this case there is a yahoo finance skill that has been added there's a duck duck go search you have wikipedia this is where you're going to be able to manage your teams and this is just your overall main dashboard so i'll be starting off by creating a team this is where i'm gonna create a team that will focus on possibly creating reports so i can say a report team uh this is where i'm gonna tell it please the team of ai agents will be creating reports now i'm gonna need to get rid of the space over here and then you can have two different types of workflows you have a hierarchical as well as a sequential now the difference is is basically you have different tiers in a hierarchical workflow whereas sequential is where it operates by one by one different agents so in this case i'm gonna keep it as the hierarchical one i'm gonna click on save and once we have our team set over here you have different actions where you can delete the team or you can edit it so that you can change the different types of names and descriptions that are set now what we can do next is go over to skills and add different skills this is where we can configure these skills where you can provide a name for it a description you can even provide the api key for the skill itself this is where it can be a skill that can scrape different things it can execute tasks as well as having it so that it can even provide different apis and tools that are necessary to complete the task so once you have set your skills you can then go back to the teams click on this you can actually build this even further now and this is where you can click on the edit button over here you can add a backstory a role so in this case gather inputs to your, from your team and answer the questions you can add different skills that you have created you can add your own knowledge base from the uploads you can then change the provider to the chat anthropic or chat open ai in this case you can set whatever models are there from open ai and then you can click save now what you can do next is you can basically use this drag and drop ui to start building and creating your new workflow this is where you can have different hierarchical of agents you can have sub agents 
you can have it so that it can even divide into further agents that can execute various tasks and this is where you can even configure this even further and then you can head over to the chat tab and then you can ask questions to the agents that you would built now due to time constraints i can't really go too in depth with tribe ai but something that i plan on doing another video on as well as talking a little bit more on the discord so if you're interested join our patreon so that you can access these different features but that's basically it for today's video on tribe ai this is a new low code tool that can help you rapidly build different ai agents in a multi-team orchestration so i definitely recommend that you try this out so that you can get a better understanding as to how you can deploy ai agents as well as what you can do with these agents so i'll leave all these links in the description below make sure you follow me on twitter a great way for you to access different types of news completely for free make sure you follow me on patreon so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free on a monthly basis and lastly subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas